Welcome again on Igbo History TV. Today, we will discuss about the, the five largest empires in African history by landmass of native origin. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification icon for more updates. The Songhai Empire. The Songhai Empire was a state located in the western part of the Sahel during the 15th and 16th centuries. At its peak, it was one of the largest African empires in history. The state is known by its historiographical name, derived from its largest ethnic group, and ruling elite, the Songhai people. Sunni Ali established Bau as the empire's capital, although a Songhai state had existed in and around Bau since the 11th century. Other important cities in the kingdom were Timbuktu and Jenny, where urban center trade flourished. They were conquered in 1468 and 1475, respectively. Initially, the Songhai Empire was ruled by the Sunni dynasty which existed at around 1464-1493, but it was later replaced by the Askia dynasty, 1493-1591. The Mali Empire. Mali Empire was an empire in West Africa from 1226 to 1670. The empire was founded by Sundiata Keita, 1214 to 1255, and became renowned for the wealth of its rulers, especially Mansa Musa, Musa Keita. At its peak, Mali was the largest empire in West Africa, widely influencing the culture of the region, through the spread of its language, laws, and customs. The empire began as a small Mandinka kingdom at the upper reaches of the Niger River, centered around the Mandin region. It began to develop during the 11th and 12th centuries as the Ghana Empire, or Wagadu declined, and trade epicenters, shifted southward. The history of the Mali Empire, before the 13th century, is unclear, as there are conflicting and imprecise accounts, by both Arab chroniclers and oral traditionalists. The first ruler for which there is accurate written information, is Sundiata Keita, a warrior prince of the Keita dynasty, who was called upon to free the local people from the rule of the king of the Soso Empire, Sumaro Kante. The conquest of Soso, in 1235, marked the emergence of Mali as a major power. Following the death of Sundiata Keita, in 1255, the kings of Mali, were referred to by the title Mansa. In 1285 Sakura, a former royal court slave, became emperor and was one of Mali's most powerful rulers, greatly expanding the empire's territory. He made a pilgrimage to Mecca, during the reign of Mamluk Sultan and Nasi Muhammad, 1298-1308, but died on his voyage home. Mansa Musa took the throne in 1312. He made a famous pilgrimage to Mecca from 1324-1326, where his generous gifts and his expenditure of gold, caused significant inflation in Egypt. Magan I succeeded him as Mansa in 1337, but was deposed by his uncle Suleiman in 1341. It was during Suleiman's 19 year reign that Ibrahim Batuta visited Mali. Suleiman's death marked the end of Mali's golden age and the beginning of a slow decline. The Axumite Empire the Kingdom of Aksum, also known as the Kingdom of Aksum, or the Aksumite Empire, was a kingdom in East Africa and South Arabia from classical antiquity to the Middle Ages. Based in what is now northern Ethiopia and Eritrea, and spanning present-day Djibouti, and Sudan, it extended at its height into much of South Arabia during the reign of Caleb of Aksum. Aksumites under Caleb invaded southern Arabia and Yemen from 520, and controlled it, until 525 when Sumyafa Ashwa was deposed by Abraha. The Kanem Empire The Kanem Empire, 700-1380, was located in the present countries of Chad, Nigeria and Libya. At its height, it encompassed an area covering not only most of Chad but also parts of southern Libya, Fezzan, and eastern Niger, northeastern Nigeria and northern Cameroon. 
The Bono Empire, 1380-1893, was a state in what is now northeastern Nigeria, in time becoming even larger than Kanem, incorporating areas that are today parts of Chad, Niger and Cameroon. The early history of the empire is mainly known from the Royal Chronicle, or Gergam, discovered in 1851 by the German traveler, Heinrich Barth. Remnant successor regimes of the empire, in form of Bono Emirate and Dikwa Emirate, were established around 1900 and still exist today as traditional states within Nigeria. The Kanem Bono Empire existed in areas which are now part of Nigeria, Niger, Cameroon, Libya, and Chad. It was known to the Arabian geographers as the Kanem Empire from the 8th century AD onward, and lasted as the independent kingdom of Bonu, the Bonu Empire, until 1900. The Ethiopian Empire Ethiopian Empire also formerly known by the exonym Abyssinia, or simply known as Ethiopia, was a sovereign state that historically encompasses the geographical area of present-day Ethiopia and Eritrea from the establishment of the Solomonic dynasty by Yekuno Amlak, approximately in 1270, until the 1974 coup d'état by the Dag, which dethroned Emperor Haile Selassie. By 1896, the empire incorporated other regions such as Haage, Gorij and Walaita, and saw its largest expansion, with the Federation of Eritrea in 1952. Throughout much of its existence, it was surrounded by hostile forces in the African Horn, however, it managed to develop and preserve a kingdom, based on its ancient form of Christianity. Founded in 1270 by Yekuno Amlak, who claimed to descend from the last Aksumite king and ultimately King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, it replaced the Agwa kingdom of the Zagwe. While initially a rather small and politically unstable entity, the empire managed to expand significantly, under the Crusades of Amda Sayon I, 1314-1344, and Dawit I, 1382-1413, temporarily becoming the dominant force in the Horn of Africa, the Ethiopian Empire would reach its peak. During the long reign of Emperor Zara Yaakob, 1434-1468. He consolidated the conquests of his predecessors, built numerous churches and monasteries, encouraged literature and art, centralized imperial authority, by substituting regional warlords with administrative officials, and significantly expanded his hegemony over adjacent Islamic territories. The neighboring Muslim Adal Sultanate began to threaten the empire by repeatedly attempting to invade it, finally succeeding under Imam Mahfuz. Mahfuz's ambush and defeat by Emperor Levnad Engel brought about the early 16th century jihad of the Ottoman supported Adalite Imam Ahmed Gran, who was defeated in 1543 with the help of the Portuguese. Greatly weakened much of the empire's southern territory, and vassals were lost due to the Oromo migrations. In the north, in what is now Eritrea, Ethiopia managed to repulse Ottoman invasion attempts, although losing its access to the Red Sea to them, 